Okay, I'm going to start a spruce wrist basket. And the first thing I do, these are my uh, my weavers. And what I like to do is get it as long as possible. So I have it like two arm lengths long, maybe longer to that, or could be way longer than that. But so then I fold, I first fold it in half, and I leave one longer. If you can see, one shorter, one's longer. But I didn't cut it or anything. It's in one piece, one weaver. So then I know where that middle is. Then I coil it. And then I coil this side. Okay, so now I got my weaver all ready for starting my basket. So I go, these are warps, and the warps are the flat part of your um, spruce root. And when I get, prepare my warps ready for my basket, I usually get them prepared in sets of 10. But I'll pick out six to start off with. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I got six warps. Now I'm gonna grab my weaver and I'm gonna put it right in the middle. And I'm gonna tie, put one loop through there. I just put, then I double check to make sure it didn't slip on me. Make sure they all right in half. And I pull tight on that. So there's the top part, there's the bottom part. Okay, I turn it back over. And I always wanna know where I'm gonna begin and where I'm gonna end. So what I do is I put a knot on my first warp. So I put my knot on my first warp, I pair them up. So there's one pair. Two pairs, three pairs. So now I'm going to start weaving. So I grab my weaver. And you want to always make sure it's on the shiny side. So it's right there. Then I bring this one up here to the back. And I give it a little... I don't pull tight, but you got to pull firm on it. So now I'm going under... <laughs> The next warp, and I'm weaving. Then back up and under. Okay, now you're going to go to the opposite side. So I turn it and pull this one back. So it's kind of important to find out where your warps are at. You so put two over there. Two in the middle, two in there. So now I'm going to weave under this one. And I like to really keep, when I first start off, really keep it moist so you have a spray bottle. And the warps and weavers get dry really fast. So you always want to keep it moist. It makes it a lot easier when you're weaving. You don't want them to dry out. Okay, so I did went around twice weaving. Now I'm going to add the warps. So uh, here's where I started. This was one pair, as you see. I'm going to split that apart and I'm going to put a new warp in. So I put it right behind the first one. And I weave it in there. Now I'm going to pull this back one up and pair it up with the one I just broke up. And I'll continue to do that all the way around. I'll split these two apart, get a new one. Make sure it's in half. Put it right behind there. Pull this one up and pair it up with this one. Put these apart, grab a new one, 
put it right behind there. Pull the back one up and pair it up with there. With Pair, split them apart. Grab a new one. So just pair it up right there. She will continue to add warp until she gets to the circumference of the basket that she is weaving. So I went around once, I weave, add all warps once, and then the back part. So now I'm just going to weave one row again. I'm just going to, I'm not going to add on this row, I'm just going to weave. Okay, so when you're weaving, you always want to decide what size of basket you're going to make. So you find a form, I use this jar, and so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to weave all the way around here till I get enough warps and big enough to go around. So I'll keep adding until I get enough to go on. And then the last row, I will do a three strand, but I won't talk about that yet. So right now I'm just trying to get the bottom big enough for my basket. Okay, so now I went around twice. So now I'm going to add warps again. And that's, you're just going to pick up a warp, split it in half, Always be sure to add it to your first beginner one there. And then you pick it up from behind. So that made a pair. And now we go do the same thing all the way around. We're just gonna these pairs are gonna be split in half and we're gonna add a new warp behind them. Part again, get a new one, split it in half. Your added warps, do you sometimes uh, put them in the front or, or are they always in the back? I always start from the back. Okay. Mm. 
How do you do yours? I do that too. Oh, okay. Good, I'm doing it right then. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I'm back to where I started again. It's the be beginning. So now I'm going to weave uh, just regular weaving. I'm going to weave around. Okay, so this is the start of the basket. And the first process I did is usually when I uh, coil, prepare my roots. So these are the weavers, ones that are in the round circles, and these ones are the warps. So then when you go to get them, you know which ones you're using. So this is what I started off with. I started off with a nice long weaver. And I put it in half. And then you make one a little longer like that on each side for when you're weaving. Then these are my warps. So then these warps, when you first start off to make measure your basket, whatever form you're going to use, you're going to grab your warps and you're going to measure on your form how big your basket's going to be. So then, okay, say I'm making a basket to be about that size. I'll measure from here and go around the jar and then I'll start cutting my warps and make sure they're all the same size. And you always leave enough warp so that when you end it you're not having difficulty with the ending because you need um, you don't need it this high but you do need warp that's about two inches huh? mm -hmm. higher than your your weaver, basket your warp your basket <coughs> for example for this jar here if we're going to go up to weave to about here we'll have about that much left for ending right Yes. Uh -huh. So, so you don't want to just say, okay, I'm going to weave just here and then cut your warps way too short. So you got to make sure you always have enough for ending your basket. So then you start cutting all your warps, and you got to. I always cut mine and I do them in bundles of ten, and I always I make sure I at least I have forty warps ready. It all depends. Each basket is going to be a little different because of the different sizes you're going to use. But it's good to have your warps all ready for weaving. Don't try to get them all ready while you're weaving. Prepare your, your um, make sure your weavers are all ready for weaving. Make sure your warps are all ready for weaving. So you always have, make sure you're all in bundles. So, and now I guess you'll go on to the next step of the basket. In case you have to trim, you always have your knife nearby. My scissors, knife and right? scissor. You always have a needle, and usually you have an awl too to mm. push on your um, weaving so that it's nice and tight. Okay, we'll go on to the next step.